Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a Smadil Prachi video and I know it's been a long time so let's jump right into it. Starting with a writer who says hi Prachi, I tend to get absolutely obsessed when I have a crush. I like a guy in my office, he's my senior and married so I know I will never approach this guy but I still can't stop obsessing over him so much that I cry sometimes. This is impacting my work horribly and I'm acting very, very stupid, which people will eventually notice. I don't want this to affect my career. How do I make this stop? I'm a 26 year old female. So in today's video, we'll talk about the psychology behind obsession and how you can work on this. So there are three things I want to discuss. First things first, ask yourself, what does this person represent in your life? You see that he's your senior. So does he represent a person in the position of power? And are you looking for, are you craving for validation from people in the position of power? For example, uh, when we are looking for validation from someone in the position of power or someone who's very, very popular, very, very famous, uh, it is possible that you have grown up around caregivers or parents or teachers who never validated your existence, your experiences, your feelings. You are looking for validation from someone who you see as someone in a powerful position and you want their validation to kind of work on those issues from your past it is possible or uh, does this person represent someone who's very good looking very charming is he a very good looking guy uh, in that case it is possible again I'm giving you examples you'll have to figure this out on your own obviously uh, but uh, is it possible that he's very good looking and you're not feeling very good about how you have been looking point number two which is sort of related to our point number one and could be a little hard for you to hear but you know it's all about honest conversations here uh, do you struggle with self-esteem? Because it has been seen in psychology that people who tend to have heavy obsessions with their crushes or with celebrities in general, just people who tend to get very obsessed are also people who struggle a lot with their self-esteem. They don't have a very strong sense of self, a very strong core, you know. So you're kind of moving through things, through life like this without feeling like you have a strong foundation of self. So if you have that, what are your self-esteem issues? Where is it coming from? This is something that will require a lot of work on your part. You might need to seek help from a therapist. Nothing wrong with therapy, I always say that. It's just a great way to work on yourself and your issues. And uh, number three, this is going to be very, very helpful. It has been seen that people who tend to obsess over their crush, it's because you have put them in a situation where they're just perfect. In your head, you think that they're just perfect but they're not perfect no human being is perfect so i want you to start noticing every single flaw and really fixate on that don't make a habit out of it don't do this to every single person just the person that you're trying to get over are his shoes dirty uh, do you not like the tie that he's wearing to office today does he chew very loudly you can just pick on whatever little thing annoys you and fixate over that and next time when you're imagining a beautiful romantic scenario with this guy in your head imagine him doing something which is very very off-putting something which you cannot at all accept from another human being so that should ideally help you and the rest of my viewers are going through something similar i hope this video helps you too uh, if you want to share your stories your own comments your own suggestions please share them in the comment section below and uh, also guys you know my instagram profile isn't really growing which is making me very sad so please share this video with your friends if you can if you like this video thanks guys thanks for watching and bye bye